what we have here is an area that's that's representative of the the higher areas of the fields, the areas that were that were well drained. So this probably represents 50 to 60 percent of the field. The the drainage was good. The access to oxygen for the developing seed has been good. It's germinated quickly and strongly. It's got uh, a green shoot very quickly, and its third leaf is already appearing. This is. Uh, wet direct seeding as it should be done. These plants are happy. Now what we have here is an area that's representative of uh, the intermediate zone shall I say. When we seeded it was too wet, it was a little bit too wet and gradually during the week it, it gradually dried out but it was still wetter than we'd like it to be. And you can see the seedlings are much smaller, they've had to fight for survival for much of the week but they are establishing and they'll be okay even though they're slow. The establishment density is lower but overall it's an acceptable result. So the seedlings were unhappy but now they're okay. What we have here is an area representative uh, of complete failure. The area, areas like this maybe five somewhere between 5 and 10% of the field stayed wet all week. They've only just become dry. Uh, that was too long for the rice plants. So here we have an area that's completely devoid of rice seedlings. All the rice seeds have died. So what we have is an uneven field, a non-uniform field. The drier areas have grown really well, the intermediate areas have grown okay, they'll be okay. But the wetter areas uh, have been complete failures, so 5 to 10% of the field. We're going to reseed to give it that second chance. True, uh, being seeded almost a week later will mean it matures a little later, but rice does have a habit of catching up by the time you get to flowering and harvest, so I'm not that concerned. I think in hindsight we were seduced by technology. We looked to the laser levelling, laser guided laser equipment, when in hindsight I think the small equipment, the, the equipment invented here in the Philippines, would have given us a more level field. So um, don't always assume the high tech path is the most effective one. So we're reseeding small areas, just the wetter areas, the, the drier areas where the rice is okay. That soil is now too dry, it won't uh, seed successfully, the rice roots won't penetrate the soil, so there's no point putting seed there anyway. We're focusing purely on those small, very wet areas with no rice in them at all.